It's back to school season and of course you can prepare this amazing recipe for your kids in the morning and of course they will enjoy. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'll take you guys back in the kitchen with me and we are going to make these amazing banana waffles. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, tell your friends and your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one and also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So in a large bowl, I'm going to go in with three ripe bananas and of course you want to ensure that your bananas are nicely ripe. All of these ingredients that I'm using today, you can go ahead and check them out in the description box and remember to let me know what you think. Once I add the bananas, I will go in, use a fork to just crush it nicely. And of course, if you have a potato masher at home, you can always go ahead and use the potato masher. Once my banana is nicely crushed, it's time to go ahead and of course add the rest of the ingredients. And of course I'm going to add one egg. And please be sure to remove the eye from the egg. The eye is that white attachment to the yolk. I will also add some vegetable oil. And if you don't want to add vegetable oil but you want to add olive oil, you can always go ahead and do so. Combine them well. Then I'm just going to put it aside. And of course you're going to go ahead and work on the other ingredients. This is a great way of incorporating um, fruits and vegetables in your kid's diet. So of course you want to give this one a try. Now it's time to go ahead and add the flour. And of course I'm using the regular counter flour today. I will also go in and add some baking powder. And of course I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this as well. And if you guys want to add more veg fruits and vegetables, you can always go ahead and do so. I tend to add a little bit of carrot to my um, waffles. However, I didn't have any carrot on this day. So I decided to just leave it out and just use a straight banana. Once I add all of that goodness, I will go ahead and of course mix it up well. And of course you're going to go ahead and add some water. No, you can always opt to add milk or you can just use the water. So once that is nice mixed, it's time to go ahead and of course eat up my waffle maker. And of course it's going to take like about 5 or so minutes to eat up nicely. And of course you want to spray that nicely with your cooking spray so that your waffles doesn't stick together. So just to note, you want the, the, the batter, the waffle batter not to be too runny nor too thick. You just want it to have a rich consistency. And this is what it looks like. You can always go ahead and have some of um, some scrambled eggs on the side, some bacon, whatever you have at home. Or you simply can just add some maple syrup over it and have it just as it is. So we're just going to go ahead and pour out that waffle butter. And of course, you want to use a spatula to help you to get the butter all over that um, maker. And then we're going to go ahead and shut it down for roughly about six minutes. And once it's finished, I will come back and show you guys what it looks like and what I serve mine up with so stay tuned for all of that goodness and remember guys to share this video i wanted to share with every parent that you know have their kids going back to school and even if the kid is a picky eater i want you guys to share it so they can go ahead and give it a try and of course you can get this waffle maker on amazon um you can get it on sheen you can get it on timu um wherever you shop your local home goods store you can get it as well So we're going to shut that down and this is it coming along quite fine. So 
so this is it guys the final product of my amazing waffle i hope you guys enjoy today's recipe i hope you guys go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think i add some maple syrup over it and some bananas and it was perfect so remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on your post notification bell remember to tell your friends and your family members about cali j's kitchen and have them subscribe and remember you can always go ahead and just put some um scrambled egg all over this or you can just have it with some bacon whichever one works perfectly fine for you and your family enjoy guys and i can't wait to see you on wednesday for another awesome recipe